Hey, how y'all doing, beautiful people? It's Jalon Miguel Kendrick with another episode of Notes to My Younger Self. And today I will be talking about things that I would recommend you to do if you're to visit Las Vegas. As people that know me know that I play basketball at UNLV, go running Rebels. Um, and then post, um, post basketball career, I made Las Vegas my home base. And if you ever visit me in Vegas, you know how fun it can get, you know how wild it can get, and you know how much I like to enjoy Las Vegas. Um, thanks to everybody that I know, my mentors and stuff like that, that allows me or, or points me in the right direction and puts me in contact with the, you know, the good people to enjoy Vegas. But let's get into it. So, um, these are some things that aren't clubs that I would suggest you guys do. All right, take a picture by the Las Vegas sign. I think that's such a cliche. People think that it's a corny or they don't want to do it, but there's so many different personalities and fun people in that line that... You know, don't miss out on it. Go take a picture by the, by the Las Vegas sign. You won't regret it. Um, get a yard long drink, walk the strip, enjoy the lights, enjoy the people dressed up in various different costumes, Transformers, uh, Deadpool, whatever you could think of is probably somebody that's walking around the strip dressed up like that. Enjoy the lights, enjoy the good weather, enjoy everything about it. And you know, why not enjoy a big tall drink while you're doing it? Um, race a supercar around Las Vegas Super Motor, uh, I mean, Motor Speedway. Um, you know, they have various different fast cars that you can rent out and zoom across the speedway. It's definitely a fun thing. It's something I definitely would recommend. Um, Bellagio Conservatory is super dope. Um, Flamingo's Wildlife Habitat is super dope. If you can go visit that, um, flamingos among, are amongst my favorite animals. Uh, that red pandas, pandas, and flamingos are my top three favorite animals in the world. And so that's probably why I get so excited about the flamingos at the Flamingo Wildlife Habitat. Um, visit Circus Circus. It's definitely a change of speed, change of pace, um, more of a family-oriented vibe, but that's what makes it so fun. They have different things, Coney Island, you know, hot dogs and stuff like that that you can go. And like I said, just a change of pace, a change of scenery um, that I think you would enjoy. Um, go to the D, to the D, to the D, go to the D, which is a hotel in downtown Las Vegas. While you're down there, get you a Coney dog. And if you're uh, going to stay down there for a while, go to Latai get you some good grub and then go next door and grab your grab your drink at commonwealth um they also have a secret speakeasy in the back if you want to you know try to figure out how to do that so uh have fun at commonwealth um and then after you're done with that you know the botanical cactus gardens i don't know if they still have that going on but if they do check out that visit sharks at golden nugget pool i don't know if they still got that going on but if they do please go check out that um, obviously the observation wheel is super dope. Um, I think it's the biggest one in the world, maybe second in the world right now, but I believe it's number one. Uh, Vegas Buffet, you can't go wrong with Vegas Buffets. My favorite is the one at Aria. I think it's second to none. My second favorite is the one at Caesars Palace, I believe, which is super good. Um, check out the Neon Museum, and uh, I think it'll be super dope if you hopped on the helicopter and rode it over the strip. It's definitely a, a, a view to see and uh, an experience to have. So those are some of the things that I would suggest. Definitely the list can be like extenuous and long and long and long, but uh, those are just a few quick things. If you guys want more suggestions, hit me up in my DMs or send me a message of some sort, and I'd be happy to point you guys in the right direction in any type of category you could think of, bars, clubs, places to eat, um, things to do outside of bars and clubs, off the strip, stuff like that. I have a big Rolodex of things to do in Las Vegas, and if I don't know, I'm pretty sure I have a friend that does know. All right, so those are the things that I would do in Las Vegas if I was visiting or if I was you. All right, peace.